rise and shine, Mr. Freeman. Rise and shine. Not that I wish to imply you have been sleeping on the job. No one is more deserving of a rest, and all the effort in the world would have gone to waste until... Well, let's just say your hour has come again. The right man in the wrong place can make all the difference in the world. So wake up, Mr. Freeman. Wake up and smell the ashes. I didn't see you get on. This is my third transfer this year. City 17. You have chosen or been chosen to relocate to one of our finest remaining urban centers. I thought so much of City 17 that I elected to establish my administration here in the citadel so thoughtfully provided by our benefactors. I've been proud to call City 17 in my home. Stuff, it's all I have left. And so, whether you are here to stay or all right, I'm moving. passing Jeez. through on your way to parts unknown, welcome to City 17. It's safe. On that Welcome. Train? Welcome to City 17. Overwatch stopped our train in the woods and took to my husband for questioning. They said he'd be on the next centers. train. I'm I not so sure when that was. That they're that they're being nice, though, letting me wait for my him. Administration here in the Citadel so thoughtfully provided by our benefactors. I've been proud to call City 17 my home. And so... Whether you are here to stay or there passing parting, through on your arrived. way to parts unknown, welcome to City 17. It's safer here. Wait a minute. Doctor Breen again. I was hoping I'd seen the last of him in City 14. to City 17. You have chosen or been chosen to relocate this to must one be of a our mistake. finest remaining I got a standard center. relocation coupon just like everybody else. Gordon, Barney from Black Mesa. Hey, sorry for the scare. I had to put on a show for the cameras. I've been working undercover with civil protection. I can't take too long or they'll get suspicious. I'm way behind on my beating quota. Yes, Barney, what is it? I'm in the middle of a critical test. Sorry, Doc, but look who's here. Great Scott! Gordon Freeman! 
I expected more warning. Yeah, you and me both, Doc. He was about to board the express to Nova Prospect. Well, Barney, what do you intend? I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Alex is around here somewhere. She would have a better idea how to get him here. Oh, as long as he stays away from checkpoints, we should be okay. Listen, I gotta go, Doc. We're taking enough chances as it is. Very well. And, uh, Gordon, good to see you. Okay, Gordon. You're gonna have to make your own way to Dr. Kleiner's lab. Oh, man, that's what I was afraid of. Get in here, Gordon, before you blow my cover. Pile up some stuff to get through that window and keep going till you're in the plaza. I'll meet up with you later. Sincerely, a concerned citizen. Thank you for your concern. Of course, your question touches on one of the basic biological impulses, with all its associated hopes and fears for the future of the species. I also detect some unspoken questions. Do our benefactors really know what's best for us? What gives them the right to make this kind of decision for mankind? Will they ever deactivate the suppression to the we need to go? Allow me to address the anxieties underlying your concerns, rather than try to answer every possible question you might have had First, let us consider the fact that for the first time ever, as a species, immortality is this simple fact has far reaching starts. First the building, then the whole block. They have no reason to come to our place. Don't worry, they'll find one. Thank you. 